In this video, we'll show you how to create your Multnomah account in preparation to register for classes. If you're a new student registering for the first time, you'll need to submit your $100 enrollment deposit before you'll be able to register for classes. You can submit your deposit online at multnomah.edu slash deposit. If you're trying to deposit and register for classes all at the same time, You'll need to allow one to two business days for your deposit to process before you'll be able to register. Before you start the process, you'll need the following information to create your account. First, you'll need your student ID number. This number begins with P000. New students can find this number on your acceptance letter. You can contact your admissions counselor if you need help finding this. The only other thing you'll need is the contact information for an individual or individuals you would like to list in case of an emergency. To create your account, go to intranet.multnomah.edu slash registration. Fill in your last name, birth date, and ID number, then click Submit. Notice that you do not need to type the letter P when you enter your ID number. Once you click Submit, you'll be asked if you'll be taking classes online or on campus. Then you'll be asked if you live in or plan to live in campus housing. Next, you will be asked to create your email and login account. Following the criteria, create a password and a password hint. Do not share your password with anyone and feel free to write it down somewhere so you can remember it. Once you hit submit, your username and your student email address will appear on the screen. Please write this down somewhere because you will need it again to log into several systems. Click next to reach the emergency contact page. Fill out at least one emergency contact, then click next to reach the account creation complete page. You're almost ready to register for classes now. Go ahead and click register and we'll do one more thing before you can begin the registration process. Once you click register, you will be brought to the self-service homepage. To log in, fill in the username and password using the credentials you just created. You are now on the self-service homepage and we just need to verify your mailing address. Hover over your name in the upper right corner and click profile. Then select addresses in the middle of the screen. Review your permanent preferred address and verify that it is correct. If something is not correct, click where it says permanent to edit your address, make changes and click save. If you will be living at an address other than your permanent address or in campus housing, please create a secondary address and supply the local address where you'll be living. If there are addresses displayed that are no longer valid, please delete them. Once you've verified your address, it's time to register. Watch the next video to learn how to complete that process.